This is how to scrape unlimited LinkedIn leads for completely free using this automation right here. As you can see, when I send it a message saying scrape 30 realtors in Boston, it will go ahead and scrape those 30 leads and populate my Google Sheets in here, as you can see, with those 30 leads. And as I said, it is completely free and you can scrape however many leads you would want. So just to showcase that this is actually a, is a our real realtors in Boston, I'll just go ahead and click on one of the people in here. And as you can see, this is Sarah Campos, who is a Boston Realtor, real estate advisor at Keller Williams Realty, Boston Northwest. So now I'm going to show you step by step how to make this automation that scrapes LinkedIn URLs for completely free. So we're starting off with a when chat message received node, as you can see right here. And in this node, this is just a prompt for the chat uh, GPT OpenAI model that we use in the next node, as you can see here, which is connected to the chat trigger node. And in here, we are just using a GPT 4.0 mini because we don't need anything more advanced for the purpose of this tool. And in here, we are just, as you can see, we send a user message here, which is going to be the chat input. So just drag this over here. And also we are sending a system message down here, which we are just saying that it needs to format the uh, URL search term because we are going to put this in this inside the URL. It needs to have this format right here. And it also should uh, output the amount of leads the user wants to scrape. So we can use this later on in the workflow. So moving on, we are using a little code node right here. You don't need to learn how to code. Just take a screenshot of this code and send it to ChatGPT and ask it to just output or write out the code right here. And you can just paste this inside of here. So what we actually do here is we take, as you can see, this right here is actually the leads count right here. When you see when I put this in here, you will get the same output as this one. So we're just saying that we need, want to limit the amount of searches or search results to the amount of leads to the leads count uh, input that we have here. And as you can see, when we output this, we get three items because we are actually wanting to scrape three pages on Google uh, when we have uh, 30 leads because that is three pages, which is um, times 10 because we have 10 items per page. So moving on, we are going to loop over all of these three pages right here. And with this, just this simple loop over uh, node. So the next thing we are doing is we are making a, an API call to Google. So in here, we just need to make a HTTP request node. And as you see, we want that to be a get request and we want to make a request to the Google APIs.com slash custom search v1. And all you need to do here is you just need to come over to Google console or Google hustlecloud.google.com and you just need to make yourself an app and inside of here you can just come over to enabled apis and services and you want to click on enable the apis and services and in here you can just search for custom uh, custom search and you can search for that and you will find this custom search api which you can just enable by clicking on enable right here you will have a button for that and once you've done that you can go back over to your uh, apis and services and in here we just want to click on credentials and grab our API key by just clicking on show key. And then you can copy that, head back over to your NFN workflow. And in here, you can just say that you want to be sending query parameters. So after you set in this URL right here, you can just click on, uh, you can just enter key right here and you just need to paste your API key in here. I obviously had, have made some dashes before my API key because I don't want to show my full API key. So for the next query parameter, you just need to enter CX. And once again, we need to grab a little ID here. So we actually need to go over to Google and search for Google programmable search. And you just need to click on this first link right here where you will be prompted to make a programmable search engine. So just click and get started and add that. And when you get prompted to basically say what, it, what types of URLs you want this to be enabled for, just click on the button that says everything. And once you set that up, you can just come over to all your engines right here. And then you can click on the engine you just set up and you will find your search engine ID in here. And you just need to copy that, head back over to your NFN workflow, paste that in here. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a queue, which will be the query, what we're actually searching for, which will be linkedin.com slash IN slash plus. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the output from the open AI. As you can see, we don't have that field right here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to just pin this one right here, pin the output. So we can use that for the query right here. So that once you can do, once you've done that, you can just drag that query over. Let me just scroll down You can just drag that query over here and drop that after the plus sign. And then you have your query uh, configured. And then you just need to set your numbers to 10, num to 10, and then start just needs to be the start we got from the last code node right here. So once again, just pin the output of this 
just like this, and you can come back to this node, and you'll just be able to grab that start and then grab that start over here, and you are good to go with the HTTP request. And you also need to be sending a, a head, header parameter right here, which will be the user agent. So you just need, need to enable send headers, and you need to paste in this uh, little, as you can see, this line right here. Once again, you can just uh, take a screenshot of this, send it to ChatGPT, ask it to write it out for you. And once you've done that, you are good to go with the HTTP request. So this is my loop over for however many Google pages we need to scrape to find the amount of leads we want to have scraped in our first chat message right here. And once you've done that, we will just go ahead and take this uh, output that we get from the HTTP request. As you can see, this is the output right here. And once again, just go ahead and copy the code right here or uh, take a screenshot, send it to ChatGPT, make it write it out. What we're basically doing is we are just getting all the LinkedIn URLs from the output from the Google search. Uh, so as you can see right here, this is the input right here, but it is, it is more but it's just not showing it. And the output of that code right here is that it actually outputs all of the different LinkedIn URLs right here, which is super nice. And once you've done that, you can just put that into a Google Sheets. So we can just click on Google Sheets right here. And we just want to append a new row, use that as your Google Sheet node. And then you just want to find your own Google Sheet right here, where you have your sheet where you want to add your LinkedIn URLs and also the sheet. And then you want to map this each column manually. And you want to just drag the LinkedIn URL from the code node right here over here and then you're good to go. And now you should be able to scrape however many leads you want completely for free using this automation. So if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.